Alright, I'm here in Faction Aturu to get the Sand Vessel through the Time Lord area. Now there's something you can do here. You can go up here. And buy Mystic Magic for Blue. If you do so, he will be able to learn Mystic Magic. And he will, if you defeat Rouge, or become Rouge rather, either way works, you will get the, his gift for the opposite, which would be Realm. However, there's some slight problems with this. If you do so, he will lose out on the magic that you've learned, which, uh, which includes, is not limited, to Psychic Prison. This makes defeating both Time Lord and, um, Kylan extremely difficult. So I'm not going to do that. Now you really don't get much of that magic anyway, to be honest. However, I'm here for the Sand Vessel. Also, I'm not getting the Azura this time. I'll explain why in a second. You only get a maximum of 7 LP, and you need to spend 1 to get the Sand Vessel. To do Time Lord. So... I'm not going to waste 3 LP getting the Azura, because that leaves him very weak. I don't know if I can reach a map out of here or not. Oh, I can. Nice. I can warp the Fexenia Turu? I didn't think I could, they'd let me do that. That's interesting. Oh, I guess that means I can come back for the Azura whenever I want. Oh well. Back to... Mosbiraberg. Now they'll let me warp there. Thanks a lot, game. And no, you can't warp to the Time Lord region. I've tried that before. No, they're not quite that nice. This won't take all that long, so I'm keeping it on screen. Collected time sand in the sand tool. He restarts the clock, and then we deal with Time Lord. And cool Time Lord music starts playing. However, this is really tricky. What is with these people? They don't even bat an eye to the fact that people are out there to kill them. Um... Now... Because he's a mystic, you would think this would harm him even worse. Since, you know, mystics fear death. Um... Time Lord! Despite being able to, besides having no arms, more or less, and is holding a rod in the air with his mind, I guess, is very weak outside of actual magic. However, he's also really fast, so keep that in mind. Because I can't screw up soul, I mean, psychic prison. At least I broke it. <laughs> Without it coming back at me. He, with his sprite though, you can easily tell what he's gonna do next. If he's holding the rod in midair, he'll use magic. If he's holding it in his hand that mysteriously appears, then, oh I know, he has arms, he's just 
um, ho 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 clutching his body with them. That's, that's what it is. He's holding his rod with his hands when he's using a physical. So prepare yourself accordingly. As a matter of fact, I'm using shield now. Since his physicals are pretty strong. Which is weird, since when you recruit him, his strength is crap. Cheap. Haha. Uh -huh. This guy is infinitely easier than Kylo. Especially since he has less defense and can't auto heal. And he loves to use his magic, doesn't he? Oh yes, this is going to hurt you. Yeah, I've got this guy. He's not you can use a physical at all in this fight, is he? Oh well, fine with me. He's just hurting himself by doing that. Oh, from either I didn't think it was going to affect it. The only real bad thing about Kylan and Time Lord is they have a fair amount of health, so you have to survive quite a while. While this may not be as bad of an issue with Time Lord, it is fairly annoying with Kylan. Unless you use Psychic Prison. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Nice try. He doesn't use overdrive, like, if he doesn't use it in the first turn, he usually doesn't use it again until, like, you are towards the end of the fight, which means he's almost dead. Jeez, it's a good thing, because I can't keep using this forever. Oh, I guess he does use that. I guess if it's normal physical, you can use that spray. Oh well. And Time Lord down. I, feel, I like how the game pretends that Time Lord is better than Kylan when he's really not. At least not in boss form. Received gift for time magic. And now blue is all the time spells. Yes, unlike the other magic, you come with all of these already. So there's no need to build them up. Sweet. Alright. I don't get the awesome armor that Kylan gives you. But there's a reason that I prefer time magic over space, and you're gonna see why. Well, actually, no, you won't, because you, really it should be obvious. Groot can't use overdrive, and he can't use. What's the name of that spell? He can't use time eclipse to petrify me, which can end the fight right there. Fairly annoying, actually. Alright.
I like how this entire time I've been making about four or five videos just doing side quests that I promised I was going to cut out anyway. Oh yeah, before I start, let's see. I can't use items? Oh, that's, oh I know why. Never mind, it's not important. Let's face the route again. But this time, things will be different. Now, the easiest way to do this is to not use magic on him at all, but use the Hyper Blaster. It has very high base attack and uses will for damage. So you can easily kick Rutus butt this way. He has the same stats you do, so... Um, if you're at about the 400 HP range, Hyper Blaster will always kill him. And you're usually always faster than him, so... This will be rather quick. And even if he does hit you, it really doesn't matter. Since he usually can't one-shot you. Unless he uses, like, something that matches the barrier. And oftentimes, the barrier will prefer you over him, so... It's usually not that big of a deal. But really, what's the point? Hopper Blaster makes this fight a complete joke. Lethal Gun is the same way if you build guns up, but I never did that, so I took the fast way out. Oh snap. I wonder if this will use the crack. Nope, this ignores that too. What the? How come it's weaker now? Crap. I might be in trouble. I don't have enough bullets to finish him off, I don't think. Though he is really weak now. How many bullets do I have left? One. Let's see. Ow. That's okay. I have the LP advantage here. Okay, that didn't help out. Let's see. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Let's see. Let me try to start using magic stones. I really should have gotten two Hyper Blasters. I really didn't think I needed it, though. He has one more LP left, I do believe. Soul Rune to for major stat boost mode. Soul Rune gives you a similar attack bonus that T260 Type 8 gives you with VMAX. Um, 
let's see how well this does. Oh wow, that's a lot. It is unbelievable. And that's all he says. Yeah, he actually disappears, whereas Blue just fainted. Or died, really. And we go through the same stuff. In the law, if you press the X button to try and make it go faster, it actually pauses and you have to press X again. Wait, wait, wait to be a jerk, Square. And that's it. Who am I? Am I blue or rouge? When Blue beat me, he absorbed my being. I know, I'm both Blue and Rouge. We were never twins. It was just me all along. And same old, same old, so let's go. Before I go back to the Magic Kingdom, however... Where's Shrike? Time to explain a few things. You absorb all the magical stats that your twin had. Which means that you have max psychic, probably max intelligence too, and almost max will. Plus, you have all the magic that your twin had that, that, that was opposite. I got shadow, space, and arcane. And, and it's all and it all comes mastered, by the way. So that's convenient. Now, you also get access to life magic, which is the only the only way to get this is to master the opposites of each thing. Then these are both really overpowered. This is pretty much like Final Crusade and the life rain move. Reviva is actually like auto life. If you die, it will bring you back. Though you do lose an LP in the process when you do die, so keep in mind, keep that in mind. So, this is Blue's ultimate form. He also gets double JP than what he had before, since both you and Rouge have like duplicate stats. It's a shame that this doesn't occur for all stats, otherwise he would be like totally unstoppable. But that's okay. You don't need to worry all that much about that. Um, beating Kylan would probably be preferable, since you don't have to waste one LP defeating him, and that's an extra LP you could use with Sacrifice, but it's not that big of a deal. I, w I won't need to rely on it too much. However, I'm not going to go any farther in the plot. Um, in this episode, since what I have to do next will take a fairly long amount of time. So, till next time everyone, so long.